So, uh, about 15 years ago, Richard Saul Woman, the guy who founded this and the reason we are actually all sitting around here, asked me to design 70 posters for TED for free. And it was such a gigantic amount of work, of work that I really had to say no to him. And a week later, he calls me on the phone and he says, Stefan, you owe me five minutes. And I said, sure. Uh, he said, go into a room where there's nobody else, where it's just you and the phone. And I do. And I said, now close your eyes and picture me naked. <laughs> and I know I'm fat and it's an ugly sight, but picture me naked and now picture me going down on my knees in front of you. And I put my hands on the floor and I put my head on the floor and I come slowly back up and I say, I beg you, do these posters for me. <laughs> so I did. hated every second of it. I had to do them myself. It was my handwriting, so I couldn't give them to an intern. And uh, a number of years later, we spoke at the same conference in Tokyo, and we ran into each other after the conference at Narita Airport. And I complained to him that I was stupid enough to allow the conference to fly me in coach, and I had to go back now and fold myself into this tiny seat for 14 hours. And I said, I'm sure you weren't that stupid. I'm sure you forced, you forced them to fly your business. And Richard said, oh, no, no, no. Uh, I don't fly business. Uh, I only fly first. Uh, <laughs> and I said, well, fuck you, Richard. Uh, and, you know, uh, <laughs> you know, went to the bookstore or something and... Uh, at check-in, I got my ticket back, and while I was looking for my seat, I looked at my seat assignment, and I said, it said, number 1B. And there is Richard in 1A in first class. And what happened was that after we had talked, he went back outside into check-in, and he told the Japanese airline check-in lady that he just ran into his long-lost son, that his bitch ex-wife never lets him see, <laughs> and the only way to reunify with his son would be if she upgrades me. <laughs> so now we had 14 hours <laughs> for him to tell me his life motto, and the one sentence that he built all TED on. And we made a little video about that. Can turn, uh, turn up the sound, turn down the lights on the stage.
so yes, uh, if I don't ask, I won't get. Thank you so much, Richard. Thank you. Thank you.